This is another one of our series, Barking Up the Right Tree. And there's a interesting native tree that grows in our area called honey locust. And in late winter, it's really interesting to find because it is covered with big, sharp thorns. The thorns go all the way up the bark or the trunk of the tree. We'll talk a little bit more about them in a minute. But if you look at the bark up close, it's gray and it often curls away from the main part of the trunk. So it has ridges. And a lot of times in between the ridges, it has kind of a reddish or, or rusty color that you can spot in there. Honey locust is often found in our area around old farm lands because I've had old time farmers tell me that big thickets of honey locusts because of all the thorns would help keep their livestock in pasture. So almost like a living barbed wire fence, no doubt. The thorns actually do serve a purpose for the tree. So honey locust if we think about that name honey is sweet and in summer the long green pods that form if you peel them open they are very sticky inside and very sweet you can actually scrape some of that and uh, lick it and you'll see that it is really sweet so lots of animals would love to chew on those unripe or unmature seed pods. So to prevent that, the tree theoretically has grown all of these thorns so that animals can't climb up that trunk and eat those seeds before they're fully mature. If we open up a seed pod after the summer is passed and the seed pods turn brown, they, they fall to the ground. They literally litter the ground under a honey locust tree. But if you open one of those seed pods up, you'll find the little brown seeds inside. By the time these have fallen to the ground, all the sticky stuff inside has dried up. But look how long some of these pods can be, right? That's pretty long. And the really fun thing, is they make a really cool rattle, right? When the seeds have dried and the seed pod is dry. I love that, I love that rattle. So it's pretty easy to identify a honey locust tree by maybe the bark, but definitely the thorns. And you can look for these seed pods as well. The leaves are doubly compound. So if you happen to find a honey locust in summer that's out in the woods, the leaves are really, really fern-like, finely cut with little, little tiny leaflets, really pretty. And because it's so pretty, lots of cultivars have been created so that they are thornless, no thorns, and it's an adaptable tree. So it's often used in tree lawns or roadside plantings where its yellow-green foliage is quite attractive. So. You can find honey locust maybe on old abandoned farm lanes. There's lots of them growing here at St. Patrick's County Park in South Bend. Don't forget to check out all of the webisodes for Outdoor Elements on our social media pages and the Outdoor Elements website. And remember, you can find your own Outdoor Elements when you visit area parks and natural areas. We'll see you soon.